She is asking you to set her free and we cannot say no. It is Eden Alena from Israel. Hello. Hello. What's up? What's up? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Why don't we kick it off by talking about your revamp video, Europe Went Wild. It's like almost like a new song. Could you tell us about the revamp process and why you wanted to do it? Um, me, the, the, the songwriters and me uh, thought that the version that was chosen here to Israel, it's good. It's, it's really good, but it's not enough to the to the to the real competition you know you hear the songs and you're like it's not good enough we need to make it 200 percent 300 we need to make it better so we got up to the studio which is in Haifa it's two hour drive and it's it sounds really uh, small but it's a lot in Israel so we went there and we started recording from four in the afternoon till five in the morning, nonstop, almost every day, sitting, thinking, is it good, is it not good? At, until until we got the, the right thing. And now we're completely in love with the revamp. And it's it's one of the great things that I, I heard. I, I love it. I really love it. That sounds intense, feeling like a prison almost. Yes. Yes, it was. It, it felt like prison because we know we knew that we can't get, go out of the studio until we have a finished song that that can actually win. That is, you get me? So yeah, <laughs> which serious man? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's a serious queen. Which was the hardest part of the song? Was it the bridge? Was it the chorus? The whole song is hard. It's very hard. I mean, just if if I stand and sing that like, without moving, I can I can do it perfectly. But if I need to dance, you know, I need to keep the whole show. I need to move. I need to do like this and like this, and it's it's getting really difficult. So now I'm I'm working very very hard, like on rehearsals. I run every day at my house, like um from spot to spot and sing the song intensely so I can do it on live, so I can sing and dance and do it till nadir in Hebrew, 100%. No one doubts that you can do it 100%. You are Eden Alena. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to talk about that note. You have what could be the highest note in Eurovision history. We are talking glass shattering. Is it difficult? I mean, how much practice is it taking to hit that note? Um, it doesn't take much practice. I, 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 I can't even explain where it comes from. I just knew I. I know how to do it when I was in high school, but then I completely forgot about it. And then in the revamp, I remembered that I can do it because I heard Ariana Grande does it like a bunch of times. I, like, I, have, I have to do it. I have to do it. And I was like, hey, I did knew how to do it. Why can I do it now? And I, it just came out. I, I, don't, I don't know how to. I just need to not be sick. That's the more important thing thing not to be sick and then I'll do it now how does one discover that note did you step on a nail or something and it came out <laughs> um no I I love I love hearing to, I love listening to Beyonce or or I love okay I like sitting in my room okay searching on YouTube um hardest songs ever and, uh, and made it up for a female singer and then try to sing it. And then hardest note, um, highest notes ever sang and then try to sing it because I want to do it. If she, if she can do it, why can't I? I have to try. And th that's how I became me today. I have to, I have to succeed. But if, if someone does it, everyone can do it, right? If you just make it as, as your goal, 
and you fight till you do it and don't give up because you want to do it so do it because he does you can do it too i don't know <laughs> that's what i do wow <laughs> Well, we cannot wait to hear you hit it on that stage. Your music video is so full of life. Honestly, it's a beautiful setting. You're in the water. You look amazing. Could you tell us about shooting it? Um, it, was, it was phenomenal. Uh, most, of the, most of all, the place was amazing. I was shocked. It, was, it, it looks like Cool, like overseas, like it wasn't in Israel. It was that it was amazing, and and the and the hair and the style and the and the makeup, everything was right. It was right, and and I I was focused. I I just wanted to to do the, this the best I can. Speak to the cameras. Be a diva. It was so fun. I enjoyed it so well. Like it was it, it so it was why I wow. It was so, so fun. <laughs> and you should I, have been there. Oh, I yeah. wish I could have been there, honestly. Next time, next time. Next time babes, next time. <laughs> now, do you think, you know, Israel's <laughs> been very successful in um, vaccinating people. Did that give you more freedom on the music video shoot? No, we still, we still had the regulations because not all of the Israelis were vaccinated, so. When we shooted the video, it was after the regulation, but we did keep the distance like in the, uh, it was- it Ah, was okay. It's funny when I think back, you're right. All the dancers were spaced out. I didn't even think about that, totally. <laughs> in any case, Edna, Lena, to you, what does the song Set Me Free mean? For me, it's a wish. Um, it's a wish I really, I wish that when the audience hear the song and when when everyone hear the song, they can take three minutes of their life and devote it to being free of everything, of their problems, of their bad thoughts or uh, bad feelings, and just feel free to to do whatever they want. Or from if they feel like a negative person is around, or they don't, just take those three seconds. Take a take a breath, do whatever you want, feel free, and then like you can go through your through your life. But you you have those three seconds to to breathe and use me. I can I, I want to help you to do that because that's what I feel when I hear the song and when I sing the song. I, I want them to feel it with me as well. So it's nice. In three seconds, it's 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 so little, but it's so much for the soul. So. Mm. 20 21 degrees <laughs> mm. that's a high temperature <laughs> could you tell us about that when they wrote it they they did meant it as 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 2021 20, degrees hot the year and but they just wrote it they were it's what it's just popped in there like like that they didn't took that much of much of a thought about it Af just after they they heard it they realized that it's oh my god it's 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 cool it's cool uh, it's a cool it's a cool statement 2021 degrees well let's That's just say ed and alena is bringing the heat the temperature in 2021 cool. it's appropriate <laughs> yes oh the blast of middle eastern sun i love it <laughs> i'm breathing <laughs> now ed and alena the live on tape performance where was that filmed it was filmed in the TV studio, but we knew it's not going to be it. So we 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 have a different thing on the on the real on the real deal. <laughs> ah, so when we talk about the real deal, what can you tell us? I I cannot tell you anything. <laughs> Will you be in water again? I'll tell you everything. I, I can't. Sorry, sorry. You have to wait and see. Honey, honey, <laughs> wait and see. Will you dance? No, that's of course, of course I dance. And and I have I have a male dancer. And th that's the far the the far of 
of the details that I can give you. But it's going to be very good. Oh, we have no doubt. No doubt whatsoever. Now, a lot of people during the Israeli national selection, when you were doing the carpool karaoke with Lucy Ayub, people said, Eden wants to sing La La Love. This is clear. Was that true? No, I really, at, at first, I, I really, <clears throat> I truly loved La La Love, but then I just, after meeting the, 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 the songwriters and, and, um, getting into sessions with them to record the songs, I fell in love with, with each song. I love them. I love them so bad. I swear to God, for real, I'm not lying. I really love them. So it didn't matter to me who, who, would, who would win because I was confident in each one. Fantastic. But I think it's fair to I say... I know them. To the one she said, "I hey, love, la, love, love." She loved the most. Na na na. I love them all. <laughs> I love <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Ooh la la! I loved all of them as well because you were at the center of it. Now, oh yes, yes. <laughs> the question though was: It difficult having to do three songs, three videos, three? It's a lot for anyone. Um, was that a stressful period for you? course we needed to do it in two weeks to record and to to film the videos it was it was intense it was intense it was but but when I when I see when I look at it now I say thank you because I learned a lot and now I can I know that I can I know that I can stand under pressure I won't break I it was it was super intense so I, I, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm curious how you handled the situation after Eurovision was canceled last year. You, of course, were a huge fan favorite. So many new international fans fell in love with you. And then just like that, everything was kind of taken away. Um, how did you cope with that? Um, I felt terrible <laughs> and I, I cried on national t TV. They announced me the, the cancellation on TV. It was horrible. It was not nice. You, you don't do that. And I didn't have the time even to process it or to even think about it. So I cried as, as I always cried. So that's the, that's the, the relief. I cried all the time. So you can, if, if you search Ed and Elena, you can see me cry in all of the pictures, I think. <laughs> so, um, but I know how to bring myself up and I have my, my, my friends and my, my people, my people that everything they did was to bring me up and to to make me stay positive and you know the eurovision was canceled but you had a lot bigger bigger thing going on the the covid19 it's no laugh it's no it's this is just a song contest sorry but this is life and death so i knew how to get everything into proportion so i was i was after the announcement i was i, I was okay Oh, that's beautiful. And what does Eden do when she's stressed out? Do you just count to three or do you have some other no, trick? I don't, speak. I don't speak. I don't know how to talk when I'm stressed. I'm just, I need, I, I need to stop and then continue like this. Wow, you're very zen. It's all, you know, it's very um, like a monk almost. You just absorb... <laughs> The energy it's hard though it's hard because i don't i'm very temperamental okay I, I won't hide it yes i am i'm i'm a little bit marocan i wish but i'm a little bit and i get upset so i need to to take to take two seconds to breathe and then to do a restart like mm -hmm. <laughs> I, and we spoke about this previously in our interview last year, but you have a beautiful story where, you know, you're Israeli and you're also connected to Ethiopia, um, this beautiful backstory. I'm curious if in the past year, the Ethiopian community, um, either in Ethiopia or in Israel, 
has come to see you differently or I don't know, do, do they feel extra special now because of you at Eurovision? Uh, no, no, they, they don't feel extra special. Um, they just feel proud. They like, oh, she's from us and I am from them. I'm from Israel. <laughs> I'm, I'm not from Ethiopia. I'm an Ethiopian, but I'm Israeli Ethiopian. So they come from Israel, but it's like, it's, I, I know that they talked about me in Ethiopia. So it was amazing because my mom, it's from, she's from Ethiopia. She was really born there. So it was amazing for her. So it was nice to see. And, but they just proud of me and proud of our, 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 they're proud of themselves that, yay, she's from us. And I was just looking at your Instagram and you have videos of you practicing that big note we were talking about. When you do that, are the neighbors like, what is going on? And so I don't have neighbors in my, in my, I mean, my apartment is the only one in the, in the, how do I say, level? Yeah. So it's only me. And <clears throat> I make a lot of noise, but no one, I think no one hears. I'm, I mean, I have a friend who lives downstairs, like in the first floor and I'm on the last floor. And she told me that today she heard me like screaming. I need to practice, sorry. I don't do it like uh, between uh, two and four, but I have to practice. If you want Israel to win, at the end practice, sorry. <laughs> and I love this talk of victory. Cause you know what? If you're gonna compete, why not aim to win? Do you think that is an option? Could this happen? Better, of course, of course. If, if you want, I, I want it really bad and I'm, I'm gaining to that and nothing else. I'm not looking to for the second place or the third place, but everything, what, what happened will happen. It's okay if I won't win, but I don't see anything as an option. I just, I really want to win. And I'm, and I'm in towards that direction. And everything is uh, written, you know, Maktou. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Maktou, happened. yes. We will see. <laughs> now, semi-final one in particular has a lot of good songs. I'm curious, which songs are your favorite from the other artists? Um, I, I'll just say one. <laughs> um, uh, Destiny, uh, Malta, wow. This girl, wow. <laughs> she has one of the best voices that I heard. <clears throat> and her hairstylist the, in the video clip, it was amazing. The curly hair, it was, it was I want it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. <laughs> she's, she's amazing. I loved her since last year in the, in the, I really wanted to meet her then also. And she also won into, into uh, uh, TV shows, into, uh, um, like me into uh, singing competitions. So it's interesting. I want to hear her experience in that. I, re I really like her. <laughs> and, you know, this year's Eurovision is much different. You know, delegations have been asked to stay in their hotel, not kind of go around the city. Um, how will you keep yourself entertained when you're in your hotel for two weeks? Um, I really like being in bed in front of a TV with Netflix and all of my uh, anime. Don't need more, only my boyfriend and my dog. <laughs> but I'm going to have a lot of fun in the hotel with my, with, my, uh, with my staff, with my crew. It's going to be fun no matter what and what, what, what we do or where we go, doesn't matter. I'm, here, I'm around, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Ooh, you get this for that. <laughs> Do you have a message for all of your fans on WeeBlogs.com? To the viewers of WeeBlog, keep watching it because it's the best show there is around. Okay, there's the best um, uh, hostess. They're the beautifulest hostess, and I love them so much. And also, vote for me, <laughs> and I love you guys. And thank you for the support. Mwah. <laughs>
Well, my goodness, that is the best message we have ever received. Thank you, Sunshine from Israel. <laughs> she is Edna Lena, and she is singing for Israel in semifinal one. You need to pick up the phone and vote. Set her free. Send her to the grand final. Edna Lena, we love you. I love you. Ah! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,